And we continue with the same subject. While researching the 1973 October War, our reporter Uli Shapira came across a surprising picture showing Canadian legendary singer and poet Leonard Cohen singing for a group of soldiers in the Sinai Desert alongside iconic general and soon-to-be political leader Ariel Sharon. The experience promoted Cohen to write the song Lover, Lover, Lover. A look at the picture tells a story about fears, hopes, and inspiration of the October War. Israel, October 6, 1973, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the Jewish calendar, and the streets are empty. Suddenly, a siren breaks the silence. Israel is caught unawares, attacked by surprise by two of the toughest armies in the region. It was a total surprise when we arrived. We had nothing there, no equipment. They caught us with our pants down. Inside the darkness, groups of musicians, actors and entertainers decide to bring a little joy to the soldiers in the field. Many of the artists in Israel are recruited to the mission. And out of this madness, one picture dominates. There, between soldiers and tanks, in the middle of the desert, stands no less than the legendary singer Leonard Cohen. What is the Canadian musician doing next to Israeli's general Ariel Sharon? Oshik Levy, then one of the top musicians in Israel, remembers his meeting with Cohen very clearly. I'm back to Tel Aviv and we go to sit in the coffee that usually the artist sitting at Cafe Pinati on Dizigoff Street. And I saw Mr. Cohen sitting with Uri Levy. No, not Cohen, what are you doing here? I come and sit with him. And he said, listen, I heard that the Jewish people in the war and I come to help. What are you going to do? Well, I think I'm going to go to work in the kibbutz. So I said, what, you, you are going to work in the kibbutz? You come to me, with me, tonight, and uh, you want to sing. I said, listen, my song is very sad, I don't know. I said, everything is going to be all right. In a statement, oh. Kobe was intelligence officer during the war. He remembers a particular moment after the ceasefire, when the soldiers expected a performance by an Israeli artist, and instead, they got a chance to see Leonard Cohen. We toured there and we heard that an artist was going to perform. We didn't know who it was and there were no smartphones at that time. We arrived there and surprisingly we saw Mati Kaspi and Leonard Cohen gathered around the soldiers. The war affected Cohen tremendously. In the beginning he was fascinated by it and felt that he had a mission to fulfill. But the horrors of the war made him look at things with a different perspective. And we talk in the Bible, we talk of uh, people and what's going on and what's happened in this war and after this war, where we are going. All kind of philosophies, philosophy uh, talking. The situation also inspired Cohen to write one of his best-selling songs. I wrote this song for Israeli and Egyptian soldiers during my stay in Sinai. Another song that was inspired by his experience in the war was Who by Fire. The song is of course based on the Jewish prayer from the Day of Atonement, but Cohen's experiences during the war that started on that day certainly gave the song another layer. One time we performed in, uh, in some artillery and we start singing, as I stop, we have to shoot, boom, and we come back when we continue to sing. Oshik and Leonard stayed in contact after the war until the relations fade away. Cohen returned to Israel in 2009 and closed the circle when he performed Lover, Lover, Lover for the first time in years. Here this culture is a part of society, like all the military bands. 
When we sit together in a social singing event, you can see that at least 80% of the songs are related to war. You can't help it. This war culture is part of our culture. Forty years later, the October War is still an open wound in Israeli society. The sound of shelling still echoes in thousands of ears for the ones who were unfortunate to be in the war that changed the entire region. But for some, the songs of Leonard Cohen, as he himself put it, may be a shield for them, a shield against the enemy. Shield against the enemy, yes.